your fortune! You have slain an enemy! that it feels right What's good guys, Rox here and welcome to episode 6 of Build Like a Boss And today's video we're going to be doing a nice little damage build for my boy the Dragon Master The King of the Reptilians, Mr. Al Queasy himself um, So getting started into the build, I'm going to pick up Pen Boots which is, you know, Shoes of the Magi. And then we're gonna pick up Demonic Grip as our second item. Um, third item, we're gonna be picking up, uh, let's go to, yep, Polynomicon. Now these three is always a staple for any build I'm gonna be picking up for Alphong because it's it just goes with his kit. Um, fourth, we're gonna be picking up Void Stone. So when you stick it to a target with your basics and you're doing your combo, that reduce magical protections, let you do more burst damage. Um, gem, I'm going to be showing you guys later on. Um, I'm going to swap out some items to make pretty much an alternate build for him. Um, but, you know, next item, we're going to be picking up Chronos Pendant for a little bit of cooldown. And then finally, Soul Reaver, because that just Soul Reaver, that burst damage is just, oh, it does, it's just amazing. Um, actives, remember, whatever you feel comfortable with or, if, you know, whatever fits your situation that you're in and the game you're in, pick those up. Me, I tend to go Sprint and Sanctuary just in case, you know, if my... Water clones on cooldown. I could pop Sanctuary, get out of that sticky, um, sticky situation, and sprint just in case the targets get in away from me, so I can catch up to them and finish them off. Um, let's show you real quick the combo. So you go your one, then you pop your dragons, and then you hit them with your three and basic. That's pretty much the bread and butter for any Alphong when you're running out there. Um, there are a couple other things you can do with him also um, that a lot of people don't really know or new newer players don't really know. And that's pretty much you can go in water clone basic first, then use your dragons, launch your dragons, and then hit them with the three, and then finish them off. Um, also, if your target's not within execution range, you can basic them and then use your ult to pop them up. Use a water clone and detonate it, that can finish them off. Also, just a little bit of tips, you know, just in case you know you want to learn a couple other things with Aquang. Um, as far as the minion clear goes for him, his minion clear is amazing. This right here, though, is a poor display of his minion clear, so we're going to wait for another clear. Um, but man, Aquang, I mean, as far as mages go, if you're more of an aggressive type mage and you like the burst, he's the mage for you. But as you can see, his, his three pretty much clears out the entire minion wave, um, so you don't really got to worry about sitting there and clearing, taking too long clearing. Um, as far as damage camps, any camps, he clears them really quick. Um, a lot of people love to pick him in Conquest for jungling, even though he's a mage, because, I mean, it suits him, man. I mean, Al Kwong just does the damage, and he can even outbox a lot of assassins. So, I mean, he's perfect for jungling, as you just saw right there. He does the job. Um, but getting into this second build, like I was talking to you guys before... We're going to swap out two items and replace them with two other items. So we're going to swap out Demonic Grip and we're going to swap out Chronos Pendant. And then we're going to replace them real quick. Yeah, delete that. Um, we're going to replace them with Hasten Fatalis. And then we're going to replace the other item with Gem of Isolation like I was showing you guys earlier. Now this build is particularly what I'm going to use. Let's say if the enemy team has a, you know more than one tank. I'm going to be using this. Um, if I'm playing like an intense Joust mask match, I'm going to be going for this. Because it lets you really stick to your target. It's really hard for them to get away. And you're bursting them down. And, you know, you shred them and you, you know, get the execution and they're off the playing field. So it's really good to take out tanks. Or let's say the tanks aren't really guarding. They're, um, you know, they're mage or they're, the hunters are playing a little reckless. You run this build and you're just going to keep on catching kills back to back to back. And getting fed um but as always like you already know i was gonna go for this guys you know we gotta take out the gold fury with the gold fury um but yeah guys that's about it for my damage build for aquan hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to comment subscribe and share leave a dragon thumbs up a reptilian thumbs up for my boy aquan and like always my peoples stay frosty